the other hand, then we got a result. Okay, so some people are doing certain behavior. Can we trace back the what is the uh, reason why, what is uh, the underlying reason why that person behaving like that? So the, uh, we ended up getting plus on distribution part here, uh, Markov process. If this is not a statistics class, so I just uh, pass it. But basically, it is on the based on the uh, uh, patient statistics. That's, uh, you have the outcome that's a priori, and based on that, you have a, uh, that's a posteriori, then you are tracing back to a priori probability. That's the idea here. So uh, just the easy example is this way. Uh, in the USA, uh, the uh, blood type is that uh, O type is 39%, A type 37%, AB types are the lowest, something like that. And then uh, the correct or mistake diagnostics of O types is uh, like that, for example, then what is there? Someone was uh, diagnosed as O type. That's outcome, isn't it? Outcome. Then uh, the what is the probability that the person is really O type? That's the kind of probability we are going back. So uh, because that person is O type, you have a certain result or outcome of a certain uh, the, the uh, uh, type, blood type of O. Question is, it can be out of O, it can be out of A, it can be out of B, and uh, mistaken uh, the uh, uh, results. So in the case that uh, the chance, the, the result is this one, chance that uh, that person got the diagnosis O, but uh, the chance that he's really old type is uh, 89%, 90%, pretty high, but not as good as uh, 100%. So this is a little scary. Then uh, still the uh, A type, but uh, the, uh, at the end of the this is a problem, that's a 47, uh, 2.7%. Things like that, so you can get those uh, uh, the causes. So uh, the uh, Markov chain gives that the I said I am happy or something like that between one word to the other, and what kind of word to use that I am happy and the exclamation mark, and what is the underlying probability that that person is really happy? That you may say, oh, that's a very obvious. To say if I say I am happy, then this I am happy, but. Sometimes it's, it is not. You say I'm happy, but at the uh, inside there you're very angry. It can happen. I have seen so many people say so. so it's in the case that uh, the uh, <coughs> we would like to know that what is true probability of that person is really happy. So this is uh, based on the, uh, the uh, probability that this is what is happening. We see it as a uh, phenomenon. And then there's a causes. The three things can happen. So so-called uh, uh, the process, Markov process is the process that uh, one happens to the next, the next happens to the next, but uh, it is a memory less. The previous state is not remembered or not affected, so that uh, the our model is easier to handle. So things like that. So anyhow, that uh, this uh, those details. So uh, by the hidden Markov chain process, this the plot. Of uh, our work and a lot of data collection, a lot of analysis and programming, that uh, you end up just uh, uh, getting uh, the, just the syntax of the language and the, the sentences, and then this is semantics and the lexics all work together. And that uh, this is the sentence we observe, but what is underlying model, underlying uh, the, uh, uh, the variable and the assumptions? That's something we would like to trace back. It's like detective work. It's a hidden, it's a hidden causes that we would like to know what is the hidden. So you cannot say 100% sure, so everything is <coughs> So this is uh, just one example of that, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, showing similar idea of that that says that the, uh, I have uh, my friend, a close friend uh, living in, say, San Francisco, and he sent an email that said that I'm the, uh, uh, I walked Yesterday, I went to shopping. Out of that, they say, what was the weather? Of course, these days, the uh, uh, internet gives all the weather, so that's no problem. But uh, can we, even if that from here, San Francisco, I have no idea what uh, the weather like. But from his behavior, that what can we say that chance that it was sunny when it was uh, the rain? So uh, for example, when they, hear, they went to the walk, the good chance is the sunny. But the question is that the um, issue is that uh, it may be raining and that weird guy is injured walking because they are raining. Or it can be any other reason that he had to walk the uh, walk or the uh, shop and clean. Of 
course, then we can guess what is the probability in that case of really uh, the appeal of this because it is sudden, because it is uh, the outbreaking, things like that. So somehow that observation is you walk and the shot and the cook, then what would be the uh, uh, weather-like sweeping So there's a little complicated uh, of the uh, formula that we go back to this calculation that I'm just has that. So anyhow, then we, they had a lot of books, a lot of books, essays, and uh, uh, especially those are uh, the uh, script for the uh, uh, scenarios, the plays, those things are good, because they usually they go in a short sentence uh, list, and that there's a certain motion. So uh, we have uh, uh, collected all those sentences and uh, gave a certain uh, labeling that this is a happy, that because of situation that that's a, a happy moment, that's an angry moment. Things like that one. So uh, labeling it uh, the, uh, based on the, the uh, those, uh, context, like that one. So it took a real lot of time to do that, many of those. But somehow ended up doing it. And then we ended up the first sentence. So something. So ended up with a certain uh, the uh, uh, software. Say that uh, you you say that come back with an exclamation mark. Then what is what is the emotion? Then there's a probability of angry is this and uh, happy is this, uh, sad is this, neutral is this. Like uh, you calculate those probability. So it is not unlike we say, oh, he's angry, he's out there unhappy, but rather he's a 20 percent angry, he's 10 percent happy, Some, something like that. Like uh, what we did about Mona Lisa. So uh, still, this is the way, the best the scientific way of tracing back of the hidden emotion that so uh, we have a few of those, uh, the uh, examples that actually ran, and the program was just a fine in Java. It doesn't take too long. So the probability of angry and is uh, zero, and the sad is also. This the probability is very small. You say, oh, that means uh, nothing. But the idea is that because of the uh, this uh, long chain of this uh, uh, the Markov process, the probability is multiplication of uh, previous and times that, times that, times that. So even 0 0.00001 is a huge. Like in astronomy, that the, the uh, uh, one uh, second of the difference that you are observing one star, and a uh, year later you observe exactly the same time, and, and then uh, the distance is one uh, the uh, second. That is, uh, one second is, uh, uh, one minute is uh, one sixtieth of a degree, and one second is one sixtieth of a, uh, the uh, minute. So 360, uh, three hundred sixty, three thousand six hundredth of a degree. That's a minor, really nothing. But uh, that makes uh, uh, the enough of this uh, value for uh, the measuring the distances between star and uh, uh, like that. So uh, again, that with multiplication, multiplication. So you say, eh, well, they, they, they look at minus six, zero point zero zero. So what that kind of thing? If it's not zero, it is high. That's the idea. Okay. So I think we had a different case uh, worked on it, and then uh, so the, this is the result that uh, uh, the um, uh, statistics are <coughs> at 15% uh, 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 accuracy, or correct detection is 83%, and incorrect detection is 1.2%, things like that. Uh, and if you add uh, those, uh, uh, the past that's uh, the uh, sentential uh, the texture, uh, it, then uh, it is much improved method. So anyhow, there's a few uh, different techniques to improve the probability there. Okay. Um, then, uh, because of time, that I'll just go quickly. They uh, then all of the students that uh, they uh, worked with, and uh, they getting uh, the detecting the anger or some kind of emotion from spoken voices. Uh, actually, hardest part is this one: the written text can be anything. So again, that with this small probability, it really takes a lot. But uh, in the detection of the speech, uh, this a little better. So uh, the, there's a certain speech here. Uh, Analyze speech energy level and the rising slope and the falling slope and uh, uh, the how long does it uh, go down or the uh, pitch of converse pitch converse and uh, when high pitch is case that uh, level and the first four months the second four months the language the world and the speech rate those kind of things 
So uh, we have a different uh, the uh, pattern, the speech pattern has different uh, just, uh, parameters on uh, those uh, characteristics of uh, uh, the speech spoken words. So it's not just the same power, yeah. There's someone is uh, very high pitch, so they saying it's not going to happen. There's a lot more factors to work on it. So this is all the data we have uh, uh, reflected and the anger, boredom, fear, happiness, sadness, all different emotion, and what kind of uh, the uh, parameters can we uh, get out in terms of those uh, correlations like that. So uh, this one is uh, the result but over here that uh, uh, depending on the kind of data we collected, we uh, classify the data into uh, one of their the, uh, kind of their emotional states. And the, uh, this one is the table. So when it's anger, then uh, it is uh, in the 28% time that it, uh, uh, I mean 26 cases out of 50 that it detected as an anger. But funny enough that the angry, but it's uh, detecting as a happiness. That's the only they are kind of a baffling why that happens. So uh, we are the uh, uh, baffling over by the way, just to put the data here. And then uh, when it's four, then four. This is relatively accurate. And fear with the fear again is not that accurate in here. And uh, the, but uh, the um, uh, better than the anger, and then the happiness, and then sadness. So in a way, that this uh, says that the most important uh, speech pattern or emotional state that we want to detect is anger. <laughs> so someone is yeah, angry, then he may come up with the gun or the dynamite. So we want to detect that correctly, but that one wasn't doing too well. So uh, we need more techniques to improve this. That's the idea. So there's some of the results of anger and the happiness. That's right. Anger and happiness are mixed up. Then, so the, um, one of the analysis that we started doing is the wave. So there's a whole bunch of speech patterns of waves. And then certain chirping or certain kind of spike, that gives out the emotional state. So we collect the all those speeches of angry, happy, and the disgust, and the sad, and the surprise, and fear. Those kind of uh, emotion try right, to analyze there and the where most common uh, the spike. That's the not quite wave, but the small wave label that. So uh, we have those spikes of different kind of the, uh, uh, voice patterns. And uh, so uh, they started analyzing this uh, that here into the wave of that, and small pieces, all of the pieces, and uh, that, uh, that will come up after the filtering out the noises that there are certain patterns at the frequency <coughs> and that that can keep up to the, uh, uh, the emotional states. Problem is that uh, I'm not, and uh, we are not uh, the uh, engineers, so uh, the, uh, the engineering people have much better understanding, so we need to cooperate and work on analyzing this uh, the chirping and the, uh, the wavelength uh, pattern to analyze. But at least then we have identified some of these patterns go by emotions. So uh, the emotion detection is very uh, important and interesting among others. And then uh, the answer, because it's so complex that it's not that easy job. And the chance of a mistaken identity is so around. And the more needed uh, the, uh, researches, and the more we put this one into our uh, research project. Video camera is around, and then you can uh, record that, that person's behavior, like I do this, uh, the, uh, the shaking hands. And then that can be uh, linked to the detection. So, yeah, we are looking more factors that combine in one big instrument. But that's not as easy as a big dish. But yeah, this is uh, one of the future traditions. I'll try to buy that. Okay. Any other? 
se we have several IT students, so can you uh, give them some uh, the, you know, the tip how we can prepare to become an uh, IT professional? Yeah. Uh, have a good skill for program. lines of code. I'll show you the program. <laughs> It's a monument for them. Uh, I am looking at uh, our seniors and how oh, yeah, we do your programs. <laughs> well, what about math? Uh, math, uh, yeah, we need the calculus and uh, some trigonometry. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, uh, this one especially, so Fourier transformation and the so Good math. Calculus. Yes. Uh, how did you get the data to train the model? Oh, the, that's why the, uh, I said that uh, we have um, the, there's a database for facial expressions in uh, MRE, the uh, uh, CMU uh, the site and uh, the, uh, the MIT sites. Also, that uh, the, uh, the textbook. So anyway, the whole list of those books and uh, uh, publications to get analyzing line by line that kind of things. Yeah, yeah. This was the, so see that there's a bunch of movie script, play script, and news article. Collected them, analyzing line by line with the help of some uh, the, the uh, English majors. So did, you, did you analyze by by your, I mean? Video yeah, we, we analyzed it together. Just to say that uh, what sentence from the context is this? Yes, sir. For written text, a part of speech, do you use just grammatical types or do you use barcodes with semantic In here, mostly it is based on sentential expression words and the sentential formation. So, syntax and words. So, yeah, words is a lexic. So, what kind of words to use frequently and also in what way? Yeah, I'm sure that with the linguist's uh, help that it can be a little more sophisticated. But uh, believe me, but when it gets more sophisticated, that gets more complex and the result is less than that. Make it simple. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much for uh, beginning this colloquium and uh, your presentation. And I have a question. I'm outside uh, in IT. Mm -hmm. I'm still, uh, you know, as a uh, some person, especially Asian people, have a neutral face, and they have a lot of yeah, expression, of, yeah, emotion in their mind. How can you detect? <laughs> 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 That's why. So what we can do, we can do the famous. They said that take that picture of that person about the yeah, a lot of Mongolian uh, the uh, students or uh, the person that they, they, they emotionless. They are uh, very angry or happy, we don't know. So they have the face and they change it by this simulation, <laughs> the animation, and they can the face. It even fades the human cancer. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's, uh, somehow that they take the uh, underlying uh, the emotion be implemented based on. Well, facial expression is relatively easy by animating by those uh, prefigured pattern of the eyebrow, eye, and mouth. Um, you can simulate or you can express that it's the emotion. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, how we feel. Is there any application that so you uh, sit from the camera and then the program tells you your emotion in the camera? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. I think they, I, I haven't heard about it myself. But mm -hmm. uh, the, um, oh, something I can say is that uh, the I forgot to bring, but I had the one camera that I'm so forgetful because I keep losing my cameras. My daughters uh, uh, bought a very good uh, camera that's the smallest and the red color so that you don't uh, easily lose it. <laughs> and then that has a GPS, but on top of that, that has emotion detection uh, function. So when I start shooting, and then, unless uh, somebody smiles, there's a, it doesn't shoot. That happens. So obviously, it comes from this certain uh, facial expression that is uh, classified as attitudes. All right.
Well, thank you. So hopefully then this is uh, one uh, part, and then next week uh, the, uh, the, 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 the Professor Cho, Tong Hu Cho, will be able to talk about the infectious disease of Mongolia. So we have to get ready to have an infectious sort of disease.